breakfast. The Academy Cinema's Pick of the Week with John Henderson. In the late 60s, a friend of mine told me, you see those two people? You will never think of it, but they are among the biggest collectors of new art in New York. These are the famous Vogels. I think Herbie and Dorothy were known by everyone. They were at every gallery, they went to every museum, there was nothing they didn't see. Herb and Dorothy is the name of the film we're looking at today with John Henderson, the Academy Pick of the Week. G'day there, John. Good morning, how are you? Very well, this is a documentary, this one. Yes, it is. A documentary about two common run-of-the-mill, speck-of-the-dirt New Yorkers. And what do they do? Well... Herb and Dorothy is the name of the film. Herb Vogel is a postal clerk and Dorothy Vogel is a librarian. However, not only are they going about their lives, they enjoy collecting art. And since the 1960s, they have been doing just that. Hmm. They've accumulated over 2,000 pieces of art, the likes of which some people have never seen. In fact, on their salary, they have accumulated an art collection that runs to the millions of dollars now because they tended to buy things that they thought was, were quite cool and quirky uh, before these people were famous. What kind of art? Well, uh, it's conceptual art, which um, conceptual slash minimalist, which all comes under the umbrella of contemporary. Yeah. And I've got to tell you now, some of the art I'd have to put a question mark <laughs> not your cup of tea <laughs> no it's kind of like okay so it's a, it's a couple of coffee cup rings on a table <laughs> eh, it's not art I'm just I'm taking I... a piece of string and stapled it to a bit of wood <laughs> yeah. that's not art <laughs> in your opinion John in your opinion <laughs> well, yeah. in my in my un, unschooled opinion and what I loved about this movie what just cracked me up was the the number of skivvied and polonecked experts <laughs> <laughs> that are wheeled out throughout this film and just go, yes, 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 um, really, quite can't, really can't, can't quite believe how much art I've got. Really, I, quite, quite extraordinary. I do, I do often think that um, when someone uh, does does look at a piece, like a piece of string on a wall, and and and, and gives it to you know some kind of um, academic sort of critique of it. And people are standing around. I think people nod in in acceptance um, just to oh. feel like they're you know that like they do understand. Look, it's I agree, and and it's up there with uh, wine connoisseurs. Right, right. Yeah, though. Yeah. I think anyone over forty who becomes a wine connoisseur <laughs> needs to have a damn good look at themselves. I mean, if you if you're looking around for for hints of blackberry and marigold um, on a late summer evening, <laughs> maybe you should just get out a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, th- these guys are great. They're described as an eccentric old couple. I don't think they're eccentric at all. I think they're a very normal couple, happy with themselves, who decided they'd start buying art with whatever spare change they had. And the rules of engagement were very simple. Mm. They had to be able to afford the picture. I mean, Herb is on a postal salary, so he wasn't exactly rolling in it. And the the art had to be small enough to fit into the subway to get it home to their one bedroom apartment. Yeah, it is, so isn't this that refreshing that that that, that um, art like this doesn't have to be the domain of the rich and famous? Well, the funny thing is, one of the trailers for the movie was saying you don't have to be a Rockefeller to be an art collector. Hmm. And I suppose if you were to translate that to to New Zealand parlance, it would be you don't have to be that guy Hodgins. <laughs> thank thank goodness for that. <laughs> I don't think these guys are eccentric at all. I mean, compared to Fred and Myrtle Flutie, who owned that powerhouse yeah. in Bluff, yeah, these guys are sane. Right. Very sane. The right. fact is, the, the inside of their apartment is full of art, Yeah. every square inch, and they've got over 2,000 works of art, so much art, in fact, that they've ended up giving the, well, moved their entire collection to the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Oh, okay, have they? Right, yeah, cool. And, and so I think they just change, change the apartment wall in and out from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's incredible. I mean, they li- they've lived in the same apartment for over 40 years with 19 turtles, a fish, and a cat. And they've just got all this art everywhere. And they're just so down to earth. Yeah. It's just brilliant. This has been going on for a long time. I mean, the- there's there's been a lot of things in the press over the years. I was doing a Google on um, newspaper clippings and press things that have- they'd been in. And yeah. I was surprised that this movie hasn't, well, documentary hasn't been made sooner. Hmm. It's very interesting. Well, I suppose they're getting on a bit now, aren't they? 
Yes, they are. They mm. are. They would be. I would say they'd be in the late seventies. Mm. Mm. So very interesting, quite different movie, a documentary this morning, and one that I would, I would never have known about. Had you not gone and seen it at the Academy? <laughs> Watch that space. <laughs> so it's good if you're into art, or if you're just into seeing how the other half lives. Go along and check this out. All right, thanks, John. The, uh, the the documentary film is called Herb and Dorothy. Thanks so much. Nice one. I remember. You mean forty at a time? There were boxes. There were crates. There were piles. There were works on the ceiling. Under the bed. Under and the, the bed. Under the bed. The bed was getting higher and higher and higher as so they showed more art uh, underneath it. The discompulsive protecting. Uh, almost like alcoholic. You know. They were greedy. What can I say? They were greedy. Yeah, that's what okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God they were greedy, huh? <laughs>